The news started as a whisper, then exploded worldwide China's CRRC announced a $300 million project to build 12 high-speed trains, not from steel or aluminum, but from bamboo. The world's rail industry, long dominated by metal and tradition, was stunned. Japan's Shinkansen, Germany's ICE, and France's TGV have always relied on proven alloys for speed and safety. The idea of using bamboo, a grass, seemed unthinkable. Yet China, already the global leader in high-speed rail, was betting big on this green innovation. Engineers and analysts everywhere scrambled to understand, was this a breakthrough or a publicity stunt? The financial commitment was real, funding research, new factories, and rigorous safety testing. China wasn't just talking, it was building, challenging the very foundation of rail technology. This project is more than a train, it's a statement of intent, blending ancient material with futuristic design. As the world watched, questions multiplied. Can bamboo handle the forces of high-speed travel? Could this humble plant really launch a new era of sustainable transport? The journey of the bamboo train had begun. Bamboo isn't a tree, it's a giant grass, and it grows at a staggering pace, sometimes a meter a day. That rapid growth makes it a highly renewable resource, maturing in just three to five years. China's vast bamboo forests offer a sustainable, local supply, slashing the need for imported metals. But bamboo's real magic is in its strength. Weight for weight, some processed bamboo is stronger than steel. Its fibrous structure gives it high tensile strength and surprising lightness, ideal for efficient, fast-moving trains. Bamboo also absorbs vibrations, promising a smoother, quieter ride. Its flexibility means it can withstand shocks without fracturing, a key safety feature. Chinese engineers have developed advanced techniques, laminating bamboo with eco-friendly resins to create bamboo steel. This engineered material is strong, light, and reliable. Bamboo's deep cultural roots in China add another layer of meaning. Resilience, flexibility, and tradition woven into cutting-edge technology. Innovation here doesn't abandon tradition, it elevates it. Sometimes, the most advanced solution is one that's been growing for millennia. Traditional high-speed trains are steel titans, strong, heavy, and energy-intensive to build. Mining and smelting steel and aluminum leaves a massive carbon footprint. Bamboo, by contrast, is a carbon sink. Its cultivation absorbs CO2, and processing it into composites uses far less energy. The bamboo train, nicknamed the Bamboo Dragon, is inherently greener before it ever leaves the station. Sourcing bamboo domestically also slashes costs compared to volatile global metal prices. Performance-wise, bamboo's lightness means up to 30% greater energy efficiency. The challenge, can bamboo composites handle the stress and speed of modern rail? Engineers are running advanced simulations and crash tests, finding that bamboo's fibrous structure absorbs impact energy remarkably well. Safety is paramount. The bamboo train must meet or exceed the standards set by decades of metal train engineering. If successful, the bamboo dragon won't just rival the steel titan, it could redefine what's possible in rail. This isn't just about cost or eco-friendliness, it's about pushing the boundaries of performance and safety. The world is watching to see if bamboo can truly compete with metal. The race is on. The $300 million investment fuels every stage, from bamboo forests to finished trains. A major share goes to R&D, scientists and engineers perfecting bamboo composites that are strong, light, fire-resistant, and weatherproof. New factories are rising in bamboo-rich provinces, designed for clean, green manufacturing. These plants slice, treat, and laminate bamboo into structural panels using advanced, eco-friendly processes. Every part of the prototype trains, from frames to interiors, is being reimagined in bamboo. Designers are showcasing the natural beauty of bamboo grain inside the cars. The investment ensures these first 12 trains are built to the highest standards, serving as proof of concept. The most critical phase exhaustive testing and certification. Trains undergo static, fatigue, and real-world track tests, loaded with sensors to monitor every detail. Only after passing the toughest safety checks will the bamboo train carry its first passengers. In Nagoya, home of the Shinkansen, China's bamboo train announcement was met with disbelief. Japanese engineers, masters of steel and aluminum, had never considered grass as a contender. 
Their culture values incremental improvement and proven materials. Bamboo seemed too radical. Skepticism ran deep. Could bamboo survive decades of weather, vibration, and high-speed stress? Yet curiosity is growing. Japanese teams are now studying Chinese research, attending conferences, and quietly respecting the boldness of the move. For resource-poor Japan, China's use of a domestic, renewable material is a strategic game-changer. If bamboo proves safe and durable, Japan may have to adapt. The contrast is clear. Japan perfects the known. China takes audacious risks. The bamboo train is a symbol of that daring vision. While Japan polishes its steel, China is forging a new path, one that could reshape the industry. The surprise isn't just about bamboo. It's about the scale of China's ambition. The world's rail leaders are watching and learning. At Tsinghua University, Dr. Mei Lin and her team are leading the bamboo revolution. For them, this isn't just engineering. It's a mission to create something uniquely Chinese and sustainable. Their breakthrough, a soy-based biodegradable resin that binds bamboo fibers without toxic chemicals. Every detail is reimagined for sustainability, from materials to manufacturing. International experts are taking note. China is rethinking the entire train life cycle, from green production to recyclability. This is systems-level innovation, setting a new industry benchmark. The team is confident, undeterred by skepticism abroad. They respect global engineering achievements, but believe technology must evolve. Steel was the material of the 20th century, Dr. May says. Sustainable composites are the future. Their vision, not just to build a train, but to lead the world in green innovation. The Bamboo Project is a statement of confidence and ambition. It's about more than transport. It's about shaping the future. The determination in Beijing is clear. The next era of high-speed rail could be green. And it could be made in China. China's bamboo train has sparked global interest, especially in Europe, where decarbonizing rail is a top priority. The idea of a carbon-negative train is hugely appealing to governments and rail operators. Developing nations with abundant bamboo but little heavy industry see a new model for building their own railways. China could export not just trains, but the know-how to build them locally. Delegations from Vietnam and Brazil are already exploring the technology. The project is also shifting the focus of material science worldwide, putting natural fiber composites in the spotlight. Researchers from California to Cambridge are now re-examining bamboo, hemp, and flax for industrial use. Still, the world's rail industry is cautious. Safety and reliability must be proven first. The first years of operation in China will be the ultimate test. If the bamboo trains deliver, global adoption could follow. China's bold move may spark a true bamboo revolution in rail transport. The world is waiting for the results. Bamboo trains could transform China's vast rail network, cutting energy use by 30% and slashing carbon emissions. This aligns with China's ambitious climate goals, peaking emissions by 2030, carbon neutrality by 2060. The project also boosts rural economies, turning bamboo into a valuable cash crop and creating jobs in forestry and manufacturing. New factories in bamboo regions will drive local development and bridge the urban-rural divide. For passengers, bamboo trains promise smoother, quieter rides and interiors that feel warm and natural. This focus on comfort and well-being is part of China's push to upgrade public services. The bamboo train is more than transport. It's a symbol of national pride and green innovation. It draws on ancient heritage to solve modern problems. As these green dragons cross the country, they showcase China's ambition to lead in sustainable development. The future of Chinese rail is fast, green, and deeply rooted in tradition. China's bamboo train is more than a project. It's a glimpse into the future of public transport. It challenges us to rethink materials and embrace nature as a partner in engineering. The principles behind bamboo trains could inspire greener buses, ferries, and more. The goal move away from energy-intensive metals and plastics toward renewable, bio-based materials. This shift demands innovation, investment, and public trust. Safety and durability must be proven, and international standards set. 
Public acceptance is key. Passengers must feel safe and confident. The choice is clear. Stick with the old or take a bold green leap. China's bamboo train lights the way, proving radical innovation is possible. The next stop on our journey could be a truly sustainable future on tracks lined with bamboo.